Hey boys and girls, Adderholt Outdoors again, Todd Adderholt. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about some hacks and uh, things that I've made and, and put together that helps my hunting easier. One thing that I, I believe in is Ozonics, um, the ozone generators. They work. I've started using them and I've seen more deer now than I've ever seen before. But the problem is you got to use that little special thing that they've got. Let me show you what I've done. Tree step. Okay. And I've got the nut on it that fits it. I believe it's an eight millimeter. All you got to do is take your ozonics. The other thing I've done is I put an extra nut on here so I don't lose this thing. But all you do is screw this in your tree. Once you screw it in your tree, there it is. And you can leave this up in the tree. You don't have to take this down every time. So if you move from tree to tree to tree, here it is. You just leave it up there. Climb up the tree, screw it in, you're done. And that little extra nut in there keeps this thing from falling off, which is a bad thing if you ever lose this. But it's the Ozonics. I use the HB200. Um, I'm sorry, HR200. But I believe in the Ozonics. I even made me an Ozonics cabinet that I'll be showing y'all later and an Ozonics box. Um, I can't use the word Ozonics, but an ozone generator. This is the Ozonics. But that's a neat little hack, man. You just go ahead and take a tree step, weld the uh, eight millimeter nut, I believe it's eight millimeter nut, onto it, and there you go. Works great. The other hack I like with the screws is a quarter 20 screw right there and two washers and a nut and you put it on an eye bolt. Man, you go up to a tree, you screw this thing in. Now all you gotta do is take your game camera, screw it on there. No straps. People that steal game cameras look for straps. If you watch them, they'll come up and you can kind of, that's, that's what they're looking for. You put this thing up, you put it up higher, angle it down um, to where they can't really it's not a, right there in front of them. Works great. Um, Heron, Blue Heron, and I can't remember his number, forgive me, sir, but told me about these, and they work awesome. Um, and, and it keeps your game camera from showing you straps so nobody can steal them. So I really, really like these. Another thing that I found out, and uh, I'm going to go over two, two things at once with this one. This um, is from HME, and it's for game cameras, but look at the, look, look. Yes, GoPro. GoPro with my remote. This is what I'm starting to put in behind me in the trees. And it makes it a lot easier to adjust and it makes it a lot easier to set it than it does that screw thing. The other thing I was wanting to show you, did you realize what I had? That is one of my little girl's socks she's outgrown. Anything that I have that's got a lens on it, um, you just take a sock, man. Lens protected. I use socks for all kind of different stuff. I use them for my lenses, on my cameras, on my bow camera. Um, I've got an eye on the hooks to my stabilizer. I've got a sock over it. My one of my little girl socks, she's out room, so I can use them now. But but they make great little covers, and you don't have to worry about them getting your lenses scratched up. One of the other things, um, I talked about the Ozonics batteries. Man, I, I love to have an extra battery, but you don't want those hot terminals around in there, especially if you've got other metal in your bag. Take a sock. Hot terminals. Put it in a sock, man. It'll keep those terminals from touching and they don't short out. Next thing you know, your bag's on fire. And then your tree's on fire. <laughs> and then you smoking and I don't smoke. So, well, unless I'm on fire and I try not to do that as often as I can. I don't like being on fire. <laughs> um, that's my wife. It, it, never mind. Uh, that gives you another thing. Um, this is uh, another little hack I came up with. Since I've started videoing, um, man, I've learned so much. It is hard uh, to, to video yourself. The guys out there that do it, hats off to you fellas. That's rough. Um, I have I really had some hard, hard times. Um, just the other day, I was trying to get a, a doe on video, and uh, she knew something was wrong, but I couldn't. I uh, had a bear under me. I couldn't get it to turn. Just, just a lot of issues. Um, I bought just basically a bow hanger. And that's all this is, is a bow hanger. I'm going to back up a little bit. But it's just, it's just a regular bow hanger with the, with the, with the, 
the screw on the end, okay? It's just a bow hanger. But what I done was I went online and I purchased a pan head. Terra Firma Tripods pan head, okay? I give 10 bucks for the $10.86 for this thing, okay? Well, after I did that, I mounted it to my $10 off eBay, off my $10 bow hanger, and guess what? It screws in. I can move it around. I can tilt. I can pivot. You know how much these camera arms are? If you go online and try to buy one of the camera arms, they're talking like 50 bucks. Now, for some people, that ain't a lot of money. For this old boy, 50 bucks just to be able to play with something? Nah, that ain't happening. So, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Camera fits right onto it, pretty as you ever please. Works like a dream. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get some good videos with this. Uh, but, like I said, $10 change, 10 bucks change. Great little tool. Great little tool. Works good. All right. The other thing, when y'all saw the possum video that I had, shooting my possums, I showed y'all outside what I use. Well, let me give you a demonstration of how it works, okay? And I've got a couple different versions because I, I play around with this stuff. All right, now, what you do is you turn it on, okay? Now, over here, th all this is, this is in the bedroom. Something walks by outside, uh, down the driveway or whatever, it alarms and lets me know something's there, okay? All right, now, watch this. I moved it. That's the eye. And every time something walks in front of this thing, it dings. Oh yeah. Works great. Put it out to chickens, put it out at the bait pile. I know something's out there. Um, it's just sneaky, but it works. All right, I'm gonna cut that off because that gets on my wife's nerves, especially when it goes off three o'clock in the morning and I jump up and grab the bow to go shoot something. So uh, yeah, good way to get rid of armaments, man. For sure is, it works good. I'll show you another one I've got. Uh, this is this is one I use in a blind a lot. Um, I've really been working on possums and I've been working on coons. Uh, it, it's it's just something you know they need to be thinned out. I'm not a good trapper. I used to trap a lot, but I'm not good at it. This one, I took the dinger off, and all it does is light up. So when something walks by, oh, there it lit up. How about that? And this is in the blind with me. So I've got the night vision. I've got everything in the blind ready. I've got the sensor over at the bait pile. Okay? So when the coons come in or the possums come in and it walks in front of them, it lights up. And that lets me know Cut your night vision on and get ready. It's time to smoke something. So uh, it works out good. It works out good. Um, the pard works real good with these. And uh, you can get rid of some coons, man. Um, I thinned them out. I have really thinned them out. But uh, I just wish pelt sold for a lot more. So, well, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, let me just give you some updates. Um, I hunted this morning, and it's the day after Thanksgiving and biggest buck I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I set up a decoy down in the bottom of the field, about 200 yards, and he come in, and I've, I've, I'm an older man, and I've, I've really never got buck fever that bad with a rifle. I went all to pieces, and I, I just slam missed him. He was over 300 yards, and I know I shot under him, so that's, that's just the way it goes. But man, that's hunting. I had a doe and a yearling run right by me. I was sitting in a, a ghost blind, matter of fact. If you never tried to ghost blind, look at them. They're pretty cool. Um, I was sitting in my ghost blind and had some brush up in front of me. She comes running through the hedgerow, and literally, if she had been over 15 feet, she would run into the back of me. But she run through there, and she ran out there. She stopped, and she looked at the doe down in the hole. And uh, I could have shot her, but she had a, she had a yearling with her, and I didn't, I didn't want to do that. So I let them go. A little while later, I saw a buck around the edge down at the bottom. But he come in and went straight back in the woods. And the grunting rattled. He never, he never showed again. 
But um, wasn't a little while longer, a bigger buck come out, and uh, man, I just went to pieces. But hey, it's called hunting, not killing, and that made a lot of a lot of good memories for me. Seeing, because I've been so many times before, I and and never seen nothing, and now I saw four deer and actually got a shot at the biggest deer of my life. You missed it, yeah, I did. But guess what? It's okay. I mean, it's part of the experience. Uh, now yesterday evening um we came home from thanksgiving uh, with my aunt and my uncle and uh ate way too much uh, and uh oh lord but anyway i come home and i i wanted to go sit in the blind just just i was full i was happy everybody wanted to go nap so i took the 22 and i went and sat in the blind i wreaked some havoc on squirrels now i used the pard um so i've got a video coming out and i think i got four i missed two um, I just missed one to the, to the right bad, and I don't know what happened with the other one, but I'll be getting that video out to you, but uh, folks, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you. Like and subscribe. Try some of these little hints that I've given you, some of these little hacks. Show me yours, man. Hit me up on uh, the, the replies, and uh, let me know. I'm still, I still love that stick and string. I took the rifle this morning, but man, that stick and string is my favorite. Um, who knows? I might end up getting the big one with the stick and string. So we'll see. But everybody, remember, nobody cares about you like God does. And that's that's the bottom line. So as always, folks, peace and love. Adderhold Outdoors out.